Recently, I started working on this uh, forge. So Forge itself is really just a very basic design. It's nothing special about that, but I want to try something a little bit different. I was going to try to use these little uh, propane torches, but unfortunately these things don't put out enough heat and enough volume to get my crucible hot in a, um, a nice time frame. It would really sit there and just burn, but not get hot enough. So I ended up making this guy right here. Black coffee, I'm in trouble. Black coffee, I see trouble. Man, 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 man. I'm not gonna get home. Black coffee, I'm still kissing. Black coffee, please get kissing. Oh, 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 oh. Now, baby, you get home. Black coffee, I'm in trouble. I'm still kissing. Please get kissing. And this is uh, one of uh, the King of Randoms or Grant Thompson's, uh, what are these, torches. Uh, this is a, uh, a self-aspirated design. It basically uses the Venturi effect to kind of pull air in and get the fuel air ratio just right and make a really, really hot flame. Now, I had a little bit of setbacks with this thing. It was a little bit tricky. I had to go through a couple revisions with the nozzle and all that till it eventually worked. But now, it's time to stick this in there and uh, fire it up. <laughs> Probably shut it off before I consume all the oxygen in the room and die, though. But before that, let's go to the range and get some brass. Well, so we're back from the range now. Um, you ready to melt some brass? <laughs>
So there it is, my uh, first brass casting. Now, uh, this didn't quite go so well for the first few attempts. At first, we just tried casting up some ingots, which was pretty cool. Also, we put some borax in there. The borax keeps the, uh, what do you call it, the zinc from flashing off. Let's put a lot in there. Oh, look at that. Let's see if anything pours. Whoa, look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. It's liquid. Oh my god. Whoa. I'm just waiting for the fire. Whoa. <laughs> Lucas, no, no. Who's going to eat yeah. the first muffin? Okay. Whoa. Whoa, look at those. Then we tried casting my logo, but what we tried, we, we just tried to place on top of the sand to see what would happen if we just poured some metal around it to see if we kind of just fill it around the top. I guess, yeah, because there's no way we're going to pull this out. Drop that. Alright, where do you think we should go? In there? Yep. Go around the whole thing. Or that. Get the corner, left corner. Oh no. It sort of worked, but it sort of didn't. The problem was between the letters on here, the styrofoam was just far too thin, so as soon as the metal melted the uh, styrofoam, the sand collapsed inwards and kind of blocked it off, so I could not finish this, and it just kind of looks like crap. But it was pretty cool for a very first uh, pour. After that, I tried making a smaller logo, which is what you see here, but I tried placing the sprue right on the back side and burying this thing about six to seven inches deep into the sand. The problem with that though was as soon as I poured the molten brass inside, it fell all to that styrofoam really, really quickly and hit the bottom of the sand. But the problem was since it was such a high height, it pushed all the sand out of the way and just kind of blew out the bottom of the uh, the uh, mold and made it look pretty terrible. On the second cast, I didn't have just enough brass, so it just kind of uh, filled in just the top section. But it looked pretty cool and it showed some uh, quite a bit of promise. On the third attempt, uh, I should have spent more time prepping the top of the mold because uh, when we poured the brass in, it kind of just spilled all over the sides and ran around the sand and almost set the bucket on fire. Oh, oh wow. Oops. Open one in. Oh, uh, that doesn't look very good. Oh, you're burning the plastic. You're burning the plastic. Oh, you think that works? I don't know. We'll see. I need a little more of a ridge around there. I just kind of went. I was rushing it because you told me to do that. Yeah, that, that doesn't look like what I've seen online. I feel it's all under there. I'm scraping it. It might be. It might have. It might work. Look your bets. I think it halfway failed. Halfway failed. All right. What do you think? I think it probably got an 80 percent there. Oh wow, that's that's not even close. Oh, that looks about 80, right? Whoa, that looks cool, now for the fourth time, I actually got lucky. It's open out. Oh, look at that! You know the the, the air relief pocket, but then there's like skin. Might have got enough metal, yeah, because it's filled all the way up. So everything in there should be filled. Ninety-six percent. Whoa, it worked! Look at that! I'll take that. That looks like a hundred. Yeah. Whew, we're done. Now hold it up next to your face. Yeah, this scalding hot metal thing I'm gonna hold next to my face. Yeah, like... That's a little sad look, looking. It would look better if it was red hot. Yeah, okay, now sure. Okay, hold it on your forehead and get it nice stamped. It's hot. It's really hot. Yeah, there's a little bit of a screw up on the top there, some of the metal blowed out, but... I'll just hit that with a Dremel tool and just router it out. It actually worked out all right, and with just a little bit of hammering and some sanding, I got this thing. Just polished the edges up and grinded them down. 
So this wasn't too bad for my first cast. Now, the reason why uh, for brass casting and just casting in general is I've never tried it. And this is honestly a pretty fun experience for me. But I, since I do have a 3D printer and I really want to make some more durable items, plastic may not suffice for some of the future builds I want to do. So I'm going to try to actually cast some of the 3D printed parts. But look forward to that in another video. Now, as far as this thing, um, I don't know. What is this good for? Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> I have to say, it does make for a pretty good paperweight. So I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Of the paddles on this side. That's what I was going for. Instead of dumping the bag instead. This is terrible. I don't cheat enough, bro.